and Calvinistic uh, presumptions, but not at all biblical. Um, and I, I, I think that's demonstrably unbiblical. Um, and, and I, I want to establish that today. He says this, R.C. Sproul, again, with respect to Sproul, but just disagree with him on this point. He says an unregenerate person, that means a lost person, okay? A lost person, somebody who's not been born again, will never come to Jesus because he doesn't want Jesus. Uh, Sproul's co quoted in other places. He says, your wanter is broken. It's born broken. You have no control over that. You don't want God unless God wants you. That's really where Calvinism ultimately goes to. You, you're born unable to want God. You're born a hater of God, and you are born um, incapable of, of responding positively, even when he says, I want you to come. Even when he says, I, I want you to believe. I want you to, to be reconciled through faith. You can't because you hate God. You're born a hater of God in that way. Um, and, and Sproul goes on to write here in this quote, in his mind and heart, he, the lost man, is fundamentally at enmity with the things of God. As long as someone is hostile to Christ, he has no affection for him. Satan is case in point. Satan knows the truth, but he hates the truth. He is utterly disinclined to worship God because he has no love for God. We are like that by nature. We are dead in our sin. We walk according to the powers of this world, indulge in the lust of the flesh, unless the Holy Spirit changes us and we have hearts of stone. Now, notice what the false dichotomy that, that Sproul has put up here. Either you are regenerate and have a, a heart of flesh that's willing to accept, or you have a heart of stone. There's no middle ground here. And this is the problem with Calvinists, is that you're born already in a hardened, calloused, stone-like condition. But is that what the Bible teaches? It's not. We've been over this a time and time again about how the Bible actually explains that you must become like a child to enter the kingdom of heaven, Jesus says. Well, what's the difference between a child and an old person? Well, a child is moldable. Is he sinful still? Yes, he's still sinful. We're not talking about sin or guilt. We're talking about whether he's hardened or calloused to be willing to listen to the truth. 